Hello and namaste viewers. Uh, my name is Karthik and today I will be building my first ever PC build. Um, that's right, I've never built a PC and I'm nearly 20 years old. Um, so today, that day has finally come. Uh, I've got most of my parts here. I don't have my graphics card at the moment. Uh, it should be arriving within a few days, but that will be obviously uh, be shown in the video, but maybe, maybe later towards the end. Um, yeah, without any further ado, uh, let's get started. Um, so let's just have a quick overview of the parts over here. So let me just set the camera for you. Okay, so that's the motherboard I went with. So this is the Z170 motherboard by ASUS. As you can see, it's a Z70 Pro motherboard, ga gaming motherboard. Um, so that means you can overclock your processor, so that's good. Uh, it's LGA1150 run, that is Skylake Systems. And you've got some exclusive white codes and stuff like that. Okay, and uh, that's the back of the box. And that's pretty much it for the motherboard. Uh, let's go and see what the processor is. So the processor we are going with is the i7 6700K uh, quad core chip. Uh, it's clocked at 4 gigahertz. Shown right over here. It's got 8 megabytes of cache. This is again it's an 1151 processor, so it will fit just fine in the motherboard. So there you see the processor, at least a glimpse of it. That's about the processor. Now, since the 6700K doesn't come with a stock cooler, uh, I have gone ahead and picked up the all popular Hyper 212 Evo by Cooler Master. And so it does have support for 1151 as it mentions right over here. And so we will be installing this bad boy and keeping our processor cool and quiet. Uh, for the storage, I have gone with the Samsung 850 Evo. So this is a 500 gigabyte model, as you can see right over here. Um, and literally nothing else to say about this, apart from that it's very reliable, it's fast. Um, that's pretty much it for the SSD. This up very cheap. Um, we'll be using it for, you know, wireless. Uh, connect connectivity. Now I could have gone with a proper Wi-Fi card, uh, but uh, however, uh, that was just not cutting right into my budget as I had already spent quite a lot. Um, so this will take care of a connection. This is the RAM we are going with. So this is the HyperX Fury. It's DDR4, 2400 megahertz. Uh, it's fairly low profile as you can see. And these are 8 gigs a DIMM, so that means we have a total of 16 gigs, so which is perfect uh, for gaming and a little bit of video editing if you want. Now for the power supply, we are going with the EVGA 850 watts PSU, um, and this is the GS series, so it is 80 plus gold. It is a fully modular power supply, so no unnecessary cables in your build. So that's a big thumbs up. And for the final piece, well not the final piece, but the second last piece, this is the case we are going with. So as you can see, this is the NZX S340. So this is a very popular case. Uh, I've chosen the white variant because I kind of wanted to build a white and black build. Um, However, um, this motherboard is not white. I was confused between this one or the Z170A, again by ASUS. Uh, however, the price difference between those two motherboards was about two pounds and this was offering a better audio experience and uh, it was having more USB ports. So you can never have less USB ports. Okay, so Let's build our PC.
Okay, so fast forwarding a month and a week or so, um, I finally got my GPU, which was like two days back. Today's the 30th and um, I got it on the 28th of July, although I placed the order on um, 20th of June, I believe, or 21st, one of these days. Um, so yeah, um, as you can see, I finally built it and man, does it look so good. I mean, I am in just love with this PC. Um, also, as you can probably notice, I have done some small tweaks to the system. So I've got these two red LED fans from Corsair. They are the um, AF 120mm fans um, with the um, LED lighting. Um, I mean, with LEDs, LED lighting is redundant. <laughs> um, okay, and I have also added another SSD. Um, so this is by PNY. Let me just have a close up of that. Uh, all right. So as you can see, this uh, is yeah, PNY. I forgot the number. I think it's eleven fifty one or something like that. It'll be linked down below in the description. Don't worry about it. Um, so that's a two forty gig SSD. Has got similar read and write speed as. Uh, the Samsung drive right over here about eight uh, sorry about um, 520 megabytes per second I believe something like that um, and you may ask me why I bought this one well that's it that is my um, prime that is my drive primarily for Linux work so I've installed Ubuntu on that at the moment since I'm an aspiring developer I just thought you know let me just get a separate um, you know storage for my Linux work so that it doesn't collide with my um, my Windows and my game operating system. Okay, um, so that is the front side. So as you can see, I have put the NZXT fans right over here, provided by the, uh, with the case. So they're right over here. And that's the second AF120 on top. All right, and if, uh, if we go to the uh, back part of the case, that is my cable management. Now, I'm not too sure how that is. I mean, it was my first try, and I tried to do something with it, um, but um, I think I've done an okay job. I wouldn't say it's the best, but I wouldn't say it's, but I wouldn't say that it's the worst either. So, um, I mean, my, my back, uh, the back part of the case closes properly, so that is a uh, good sign. So I think it's, it's, it's all right, so. Yeah, so I think it looks really nice. I mean, especially if it goes well with my my table, uh, the case. So the white and the wood, uh, you know, contrast looks really nice. So yeah, that's about it. That's my PC. Um, obviously, uh, you could have a, you could have built, you can build a PC, which is you know, which has a similar GPU and similar components, but for, uh, with, you know for for a cheaper price, um, you buy by you know going for a 6700 instead of a 6700K as I have gone in this build. If you don't plan to overclock your processor, or you could go for a 6600K and you could actually save about 100 pounds or uh, or so, uh, and you know use that money to invest into something else, maybe LEDs or a better GPU or whatever. I mean, sky's the limit, right? Um, so you could go with the 6600K. Um, the only disadvantage with that processor would be that it does not have hyper threading. However, it is a very good chip for overclocking. So you could actually overclock it like 4.6 or 4.7. Um, oh, uh, talking of overclocking, I haven't overclocked my system at the moment. So the GPU and the CPU are running at stock speeds. Um, I did the 3D mark, uh, you know, the demo test from uh, uh, the application which is then Steam, it's a demo application. I got a score of 6784. Um, this is all completely stuck. Um, I haven't clocked anything at all. Um, so that's 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 a good result. Um, yeah, so I'm really proud of that. Okay, coming back. So how can you cut the, how can you cut the cost of the system? Well, again, as I said, you can go for a different processor. Uh, you know, instead of sixty instead of sixty seven hundred K, you can go for a sixty six hundred K or um, a sixty seven hundred if you don't plan to overclock. Um, and also, I have gone with a with sixteen gigs of RAM. You can obviously start with eight. Eight is perfectly perfect, uh, uh, perfect for gaming, so you wouldn't have any sort of hiccups or anything like that. 
Um, however, if you do plan to go, if you do plan to do video editing, I would actually suggest you to use um, 16 gigs uh, because uh, I loaded up Premiere on the computer and I was seeing that he was using 7.9 uh, uh, gigs of RAM so yeah it does take a lot of RAM so so keep that in mind um, obviously I have gone with two solid state drives I do plan to get a hard drive later on like a massive three or four terabytes one but you can buy that outright uh, first instead of you know buying these SSDs uh, and that will actually get your cost down so you can get like a WD blue hard drive which is like um, for 39 pounds and one terabyte of configuration or something like that um, you know as opposed to this Samsung this is, this is 500 gigs and costed me a whopping 104 or 5 pounds something like that um, so yeah as you can see uh, uh, SSDs are kind of pricey so you can obviously if you want an SSD you could go for 120 gig and then a um, you know hard drive so you can have your boot files on the SSD and all of your other files on the hard drive so that's a perfectly good viable option um, you can totally do that um, if you want to save some more money you could obviously go for a cheaper case and um, you can get cases without the windows um, so that could actually save you some money so hopefully you enjoyed this video if you did please give me a like on this video to congratulate me on joining the PC Master Race Group um, and comment down below on your suggestions and on your thoughts and opinions about this build. As I mentioned before, this was my first PC build. I'm really happy that I did it and I would love to do it again. So thanks again for watching and I'll catch you all in the very next one.